favorite time of the day, mail time! I am writing to you on behalf of your great, 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 great uncle, Lee Hoyman and his estate. As you must already know, he perished in that horrible windmill accident. Huh, you'd think I would have heard about that. He has left to you his beloved country manor. Oh my god, free house! On condition that you stay there for one entire week. Okay, well now that just sounds ridiculous and dangerous, but free house! <laughs> Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and we're playing The Sims 4. We're playing the new paranormal stuff pack. I'm actually really excited for this. I haven't been this excited since laundry pack. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was very excited for a pack. Eco lifestyle, that was the last one. I, I was really excited for that as well. But anyway, let's go torture some Sims. But first my torture. Oh! Whew, that was a big one. All right, where did we leave Jim? Oh yeah, at the peak. <laughs> you can't even see him. He, he's way up there. Hopefully they're not dead or have resorted to cannibalism. Brig Yaba. Uh -huh. just having a conversation. <laughs> like off the top of the mountain Good freezing. Box. It's like, so you like fountain pens. All right, should I plant my flag here before I leave? Do I have that option? I have to summon items. Why can I even do this? I can install a toilet? Why? I'm pooping on top of the world. <laughs> like above the clouds. I think it's worth putting in the toilet. Just for the simple skit of being at the bottom of the mountain and going, oh, where's the bathroom? And one of the staff going, up there. <laughs> And no pooping sign. <laughs> this is just going to be one of those things like uh, those big metal bollards that appeared. Monolith, is that what they're called? Except this is a lot weirder and more creepy. <laughs> a lot of mannequins just appeared around this toilet on the raised platform. Well, may as well mark my territory. Use. There we go. Yep. Now this mountain is mine. <laughs> According to dog law anyway, which is the only law I follow. All right, now prank the toilet for the next person. Oh, he's telling someone a story. There we go, it's pranked. Okay. Okay, it's time we go back down the mountain. God, that looks really scary when you zoom out. All right, home time, everyone. Home time, come on, back down the mountain. <laughs> Whichever way you want. I know, I'm jumping. <laughs> oh, no, he has his mop, actually. Yeah, he can just fly down. <laughs> Poor default has to run all the way down. Oh, my God, I forgot you were even with us, Gideon. Ah, well, I'm sure you'll find your way back, even though you're very hungry. <laughs> all right, back in the house. Is this the firefighter that ironically died from a fire when I was here? Why did I even bring a firefighter? He's useless. He was trying to... Oh, wait, no. Is this him? I don't know. Either way, I'm taking you with me because this is a paranormal pack and... I should have someone that I essentially killed in my house. Yeah, that is him. Okay, great. Come on, everyone. Let's go home. All right, everyone. We're home. Everyone in the cult is just like, oh, thank goodness. Now we can get fresh supplies in. We haven't been able to get out. And I'm just like waving from the gate. We're off to a haunted mansion. My relative left me. All right, here we are. Hollow's Haunted House. I pulled this off the gallery, by the way. It's made by Taz Cabaz. Is that how you say it? But it looks like a really cool lot. Let's jump into our new little holiday home. Where is... Oh, he's at work. Okay. <laughs> now I can't even carry him over the threshold. Quacks and ass. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Look, you even got a little seance table. Sense spiritual volatility. Well, before I do that, let's put down that urn that I brought with me. <laughs> Here's what I made earlier. Oh, wait, I don't just have one on me. I have four. He <laughs> immediately just sets placing on the floor. Oh, look at that. You can put them up there. That's cool. <laughs> They're just gonna be everywhere. I have too many. Oh, up on the washing machine. That seems safe. I hope it doesn't shake. There'll be ash everywhere. All right, now sense spiritual volatility. <laughs> look at him <laughs> acting like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I mean, he has communicated with the dead quite a lot, to be fair. Maybe he does uh, know more than we give him credit for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's taking a bit too much pleasure. He doesn't detect anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> Your radar's off there, sonny boy. The hell is this thing like? <laughs> Mock mysterious symbols. It's like, nah, don't detect anything. Sounds was interrupted. How? I'm too tired. All right, okay. I thought there was actually something ghostly, but no, I'm just sleepy. Ghost! Oh no, it's just someone at the door. Okay. There's a good few people at the door, actually. Oh, someone brought me a stick of butter with a bow on it. Give me the butter. <laughs> They're probably here to warn me. Hey, you're not staying at the old Pickens place now, are you? Heard the place is haunted, you know. Well, I did a seance and nothing happened to me, so I'm just fine with sleeping here. Good night. 
I just let all these random people in my house. I just realized there's no door to the kitchen. <laughs> That's a quirky feature. Just gonna make that a nice open plan. <clears throat> just because I like it stylistically. Not because I couldn't figure out how to place a door and it was saying there was an object there. I just really like it this way. Boy, boy. You be me. They're all fighting. What's wrong with them? He's so moody. I might have killed your wife. Hmm, that's interesting. It might have been your mom. I, I definitely killed a relative of yours anyway. Maybe she's haunting the house. We can meet up with her again. You again? Unsubscribe. Please, no. Come back. I think I'm bothering the dead. Oh, he's scared though. Maybe this place is haunted. Quickly, hide under the covers. He's like running into the room. Yeah, let's get in there. Ghosts can't get you if you're under the covers, can they? Can they? Wait, can I do group ones? Oh, yes. I want to do a group one. Scared loves company. That's the old saying. Let's do this. Second, should I change outfit? I definitely should change outfit. Oh. All right, let's go again. I like how he swaps chair. <laughs> like, I'm not sitting on my chair naked. <laughs> this is Turg's chair. <laughs> She's shocked. I don't know whether she's shocked by the fact we're trying to summon something or that we're just naked. Well, I'm naked. Maybe if you also got naked, the ghost will come. Oh, I think the ghost is coming. The lights are going nuts. Oh, he's freaking out. What have we summoned? Now he's just running around the house naked. <laughs> he's getting scared by this, but we've already seen this. Where's Turg? Oh, fast asleep on the bench. <laughs> it's like, he's been at work a long time now. He's not even come inside. Let's see here. Can I get a job in this career? Because I seem to be very good at making communications with ghosts. Probably because they're all pissed off at me because I killed most of them. Uh, it's not a job in here, but I'm pretty sure there is a job in this new one. So uh, I'll take a look in a while. <laughs> it must be the outfit that's not working. Yeah, like none of these would work for summoning a ghost. Hold on. All right, formal. <laughs> okay, yeah, this can change. There we go. <laughs> this seems like disrespectful for some reason. I'm dressing as a magician to summon the dead. Oh my God, he's terrified. Work will start an hour. I don't have time for work. I gotta talk to the dead. What a day of work. Jim is back in has earned three bucks. <laughs> I just showed up and left immediately. All right, Turing, let's go. I got him in the outfit too. <laughs> Dressed like, like shopping mall magicians. Oh my God, this is magical. I can feel like tingles. <laughs> Turk, stop looking. If, the, if you look, the ghost can't come. I think I see someone's face in there, by the way. Wait a second. That's my face. What does this mean? Oh my God, the lights are flickering. The Turk is leaving. He's like, nope, not having any of it. <laughs> I'm gone. Oh my god, there was a bang! What was the bang? He's going to, he's going into bed in his, in his magician outfit. Oh, that's funny. Helping hand. This statue is the ability to alter the rules of a haunted house slightly. Oh, I might buy that. I'm always in need of a helping hand. There we go, in the bedroom. That's where it belongs. Summon Bone Hilda. Oh my god, why is he so scared? They're feckin' terrified. What is going on? <laughs> he's screaming at the doll. Get it out of here! <laughs> to be fair, it is pretty creepy. Hey, look at that thing. Remove creepy doll. Jim is too scared to go near it. No, that's staying. I'm not touching that thing. I've seen enough courage of the cowardly dog to know that's a bad idea. Invoke the dead. Summon the dead onto the lot. Yeah, we're gonna do that and then we'll summon Bone Hilda. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of cleaning to do. If you don't know already, in the older games, Bone Hilda was like the skeleton you could put in the in a little coffin that would come out and be like a maid. I just love torturing the dead and making them clean for me. Oh my god, what is happening here? Oh no. <laughs> Turkey's crying like, please stop, please. At least he's crying onto the, the tear tray. That's very nice of him. Meanwhile, I'm here like, come on, dead people. Come get us. I dare you. Oh, here we go. Who's this? Felix sided. I don't think I killed you, did I? Uh, Faye, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, I killed him. And Greg. No, I didn't even kill you, dude. <laughs> so, you like computers? <laughs> you summoned me for that. Really? You summoned me from the dead, my final resting place, to say, oh, are you more of a PC or a Mac kind of guy? And finally talking to a ghost, and now I'm trying to summon Bonehilda. He must be like, what, I'm not good enough for you? <laughs> you don't like ghosts? You want skeletons? What did you just pull out of the table? Was that a lump of dirt? Are you cleaning too? Show me your treacherous potato <laughs> as you try and open it. Oh, Bonehilda, you're here! Oh, there's another ghost as well. I didn't even notice you. Oh, Faye, I did kill you. Okay, it's good to see you again. Thanks for cleaning, I guess. Jeb, oh, I killed you too, didn't I? I don't even really remember, but I had your grave in my pocket, so I assume I did. So I can't help but notice this place is a little haunted. <laughs> She's feeling flirty with Turk. All he did was introduce himself. He's just that irresistible. Why is she running away? You're scared of what you feel for him, aren't you? I am too. I am too. 
she's literally running down the street i don't know where she's going what do i do do i just let her go like she's undead and she's running off into the neighborhood and she might kill some children or something yeah i should probably just let her go she was going to fish really <laughs> after all that ran all that way just to fish oh turg is coming he's really sad <laughs> probably because you ran away from him are you really fishing for compliments <laughs> Why are you taking pictures of me? <laughs> Turk has learned that Bone Hilda is single. Oh, they're going on a date. Okay. <laughs> Interesting turn of events. Well, let's just go on a date at our house. <laughs> Sit and talk to your date. Have both Sims be flirty at the same time. Wait. Oh, she's not flirty. I'm flirty. Okay. Well, Turk's flirty. It's not me flirting with that skeleton. It's Turk. God, he's he's weird that's such a weird thing to do what it's over what she literally ran to my house and then ended the date and now she's running back she's got her mind on the fish again doesn't she she gave me a book as a prize for the okay date oh no that didn't sound good <laughs> he's floating in the chair again what did i tell you wear your bloody magician outfit there's so many like piles of clothes from just constantly changing clothes <laughs> God, I'm already up to level four. I think it's level five maximum. And I think then I can become a paranormal investigator. God, the lights are going nuts. <laughs> this is dangerous territory, people. Ghastly ritual. Leave your corporal body behind. Totally safe. Well, you know what? I'm happy to leave my body behind because he won't coat it in the marvelous magician outfit I made for him. Do you know how long the prisoners were knitting that for, Jim? Do ya? <laughs> he's just cowering. <laughs> oh my God, he's a ghost. He's a ghost. <laughs> Does this mean I can see the other ghosts or am I just... A ghost for the hell of it for a while. It immediately goes on phone. It just tweets out, I am a ghost. Hashtag free spirit. Like what did you do in his phone? How much you became a ghost? The first thing your mind goes to is like, oh, let's play Tetris by the looks of it. Why would you want to come in? Honestly, why? How could you possibly want to go into that? There's a ghost it's just summoning more ghosts at the table. And you're like, let me in. Okay, well, I'm the maximum level now. The flashing light was just a test. You'll have plenty of warning next time what keep poking them <laughs> keep annoying them ghost scare oh yeah i can scare people now because i'm a ghost i know i already introduced myself but watch this ah there you go gotcha <laughs> Oh, she liked it. Uh, it's not as fun. I guess that turned me back into a human. Just the thought of kissing this person turned Jim Pickens back to normal. Oh, he's got her under his spell now. It's just like that. I don't even know who she is. She just turned up. Oh, wait, she's a member of one of my clubs. She's a member of the Tunnel Snakes. I want to turn back into a ghost. I think she only liked Jim because he was a ghost, you know? The bad boy. There we go. I am ghost again. Want woohoo? Question mark. There we go. I can't fit a double bed anywhere, but I could buy a dumpster. I should really get going now. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> just as I found the dumpster, huh? Now he's just haunting the dumpster instead. <laughs> well, I'm going in the dumpster either way. <laughs> what is this? Hello? Is this some kind of unsolicited call? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've been bothering them, I think. I've been annoying. <laughs> God damn it, I'm just not a very scary ghost. It's the giggling afterwards. You know, like, say something like, I want to suck your blood or something. No, that's not what a ghost would say. I want to be inside you. No, I'm going to stop. Oh, look who's back, huh? You've got your mind on the dumpster. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he just turned back into a human. God damn it. Oh, well. Where is Turg? Oh, he's asleep in the park. You can come home, Turg. You know, you, you have a bed. Oh, they're doing it as a ghost. Okay. That was just unlucky timing last time. Then. <laughs> what even is this? Who are you? Oh, yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> he's just weeping. I was supposed to have... A movie franchise with Johnny Depp over here playing one of the villains. Oh, and tomorrow's death day. How fitting. Poor Turg is being tormented in this bloody house. Oh, but it's death day, Turg, so cheer up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? What have I spawned? Maybe I shouldn't have kept tormenting the dead. I like how Turg's upstairs freaking out and Jim's like, more, more ghosts downstairs. Oh my god, he looks grumpy. Is it because I'm not wearing my magician outfit? Hold on, let me change. Look, he's happy. Oh, he's, oh, he's not happy anymore. Okay. Offer a handmade object from your inventory. What have I got? Um, short brown plant hanger. Oh yeah, this is something the prisoners made. They knitted it. Here you go. <laughs> oh, he went away. Okay. So apparently different ones can spawn, like friendly ones, angry ones, all that kind of thing. I don't imagine those ones would have done anything good since they were literally breathing fire. Hey, I just want to let you know that we're all rooting for you. Keep it up. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is very nice of the dead. Apparently some ghost is supposed to turn up and offer me like the job of paranormal investigator. Poor Turk. He's just hiding in his room. 
but he's not showed up. I can force it with a cheat, but I think we might have done enough for one day. Oh, I was like, oh, the ghosts turned off my lights, but no, I just didn't pay my bills, so the power's been shut off. Okay, that is a good place to end it. Maybe next time we can take a look at the career. Let me know if you want to see more. I am totally down for it. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.